Well, architecture has a huge effect on how we see ourselves fitting into a, a city and how we relate to one another. Obviously, you go into some big corporate headquarters, it's meant to intimidate you. It's, the architecture is meant to intimidate you, meant, meant to make you feel anonymous, an anonymous small nobody, inconsequential little ant. We will step on you. And it's, the architecture says that on the outside and on the inside. And um, that's, I'm not saying that's entirely evil and should be wiped out. I'm, I'm just saying that that kind of architecture, that kind of business, that's what they do. Um, but when that kind of attitude, say, is, is transferred to a public space, um, then I would say, okay, now, now it's inappropriate. Um, if you want to be intimidating on your own property, that's, you can do that. But it, it, we shouldn't transfer that to public space because that, then it should be more welcoming and somehow uh, a place like this is, is big, but it doesn't feel in, intimidating. People feel relaxed in there, as you said, like they, as if they walked into an indoor park. Well, for me, architecture includes the places we live in, the places we work in, the urban and suburban spaces that we move around in, the streets. Um, some of it is made by professionals and some of it's made by amateurs and some of it just seems to uh, emerge by accident. And there's good and bad in, in all of those. Some of the some of the professionals make eyesores, and sometimes the amateurs make eyesores. And but it, no, nobody has nobody has the rule book. Well, today, I think a lot of people, when they think of architecture, they think of what star architects. They think of brand, well, the handful of brand name architects that they might have heard of, and um, or they think, yeah, that's what I think most people think of which to me is, is rather limiting. It, it means you're not really thinking about your own house, um, how, how people come into your house, and wh how do they relate to it, how do you relate to your house once you get into it, or, or the place that you work, and all that kind of stuff. And it's all that people tend to think architecture is done for and by other people. It's, you know, it's also done by you, if you decide to uh, maybe put a new window in your house or change the, the traffic flow in your house or your office. Not, su not surprisingly, I'm very much aware of how a space affects, kind of affects you, the sound in the space and affects the, how you relate to that. It's like, I mean, this kind of space is very, very echoey. So like a, a cathedral um, or some very large traditional public building with a huge atrium or huge open space. So people usually, they'll kind of lower their voice when they come into that. They start talking in whispers. Um, or at least they don't, you know, I'm not talking in a whisper, but they don't yell out. Whereas, let's say a, a crowded bar um, where often the, the people, there's a different dynamic and people start yelling and shouting, which they don't really do in here.